What's up, Hustle Ninjas? My name is Rich, and today you won't be watching me do retail arbitrage. So I posted a video last on my retail arbitrage workspace, and I also showed you guys that I also make t-shirts. And I pretty much do that for a living. So somebody in the comments asked, well, they wanted me to show you guys how I make t-shirts. So that's not a problem. I'll show you guys how to do that. I'm actually in the middle of doing some right now. So this is how I make it. And I'm on my phone today. I don't know where my sm well, I do know where my smaller camera is, but I don't have it with me. So let me flip the lens around. Using a GraphTech CE6060 Plus. And right now I'm cutting glitter, which is a little bit more difficult to cut than your typical vinyl. So I'm using Illustrator on Mac. And I'm using, what is this called? Cutting Master 4. So I make my design in Illustrator, then I so I put it into Cutting Master 4, and then I send the cut over to the plotter. And then the plotter does this thing, it cuts the design out. And if you guys already know how to cut t-shirts and need advice on how to cut um, glitter with the graph tech, these are my settings for glitter. And I leave the needle out a little more than typical. Anyways, back to you guys who want to learn how to cut t-shirts so after it cuts the vinyl this is your design but it doesn't look like that when it comes out it looks like this so i'm gonna weed it for you guys weeding meaning um taking the, the excess vinyl off of it so let's see if i can do this one hand so i like to heat this up because it makes it easier for the vinyl to come off this is glitter vinyl. It's a little more difficult than regular vinyl. So what we do is I use tweezers. People use, some people use needles and different things. I like tweezers. Uh, sorry, you guys can't see. So I got a corner off. Let's see, how can I hold this? Hmm. You guys get the gist of that. Let me put the phone down for a second. Okay, so I got that peeled out. What I did was take off the excess, then I took off the little, the vinyls that's in between the letters and the cavities. And we'll set this to the side. And now we're gonna put it onto a t-shirt, or in this case, a tank top. So what I typically do is I have an extra screen up here that mirrors my computer. That way I can see my orders at all times while I'm using the heat press laid out. I'm going to press it, pre-press it, so I can get all the wrinkles out. I know that was hard to see, but I pre-press it so it's flattened out. What we can do is use a lint roller, take lint out, but the, the tank itself is pretty clean. We take our design and put it on top of the tank. Nice and straight. And we place our cover sheet over it. Bring this back over and see if I can get one hand. I can. So that typically takes between 10 to 15 seconds for that vinyl at 330 degrees Fahrenheit. Different vinyl uh, requires different heat and times. And typically the vinyl, wherever you purchase the vinyl from, they will let you know of that. So we take this off and we peel this. I can't do this. There we have it. One nice tank top. On average, it takes me less than a minute to do one shirt. So, and let's let's talk numbers. It takes me about six to seven bucks for this tank. Uh, the vinyl itself, mm, I can't do the math in my head, but it's it should for this size. It should be less than a dollar. So we're talking about seven bucks for this, and I charge. 16 to 20 bucks for tanks like these this is a let me let me flip the camera around so for tanks like these i charge around 16 to 20 bucks and whatever platform depending on what platform we're selling they'll take between 5 to 15 percent um in this case it's five percent and then we have the shipping costs which typically the uh typically the customer pays which is around four to five bucks or if it's a large order i typically ship it to them for free in this case, um, let me see, if 
five tank tops, I ship it to them for free. So in this case, we'll make around seven bucks per tank, which is around the same price it cost us to make. And it takes me a little less than a minute to make it. Sorry, I'm talking to you guys down here. I should be talking to you guys up here. I'm not used to doing this on my phone. Anyways, cost me is about seven bucks. You profit about seven bucks. Um, that's because it's a tank top and it's a custom order. I typically don't do custom orders. And I highly recommend you guys who do custom orders to make it as efficiently as possible. Um, you waste a lot of time going back and forth with the customer and... I know that I'm telling you guys that now, whoever's making t-shirts and or whoever does something custom, you've come to realize that and it's taking you guys a lot of time. So what you need to do is if you plan on doing that, you need to build a system. Um, you need to make it as efficiently as possible and that you're not wasting your time. You know, just like Rich Dad Poor Dad said, anybody can make a better burger than McDonald's, but nobody's making a better system than McDonald's. All right. So same thing. So you need to make a really good system where the customer is satisfied and you're not wasting too much time going back and forth with them if you're doing custom orders. I typically don't like to do custom orders because of that fact. So even though the tanks are $7 cost for $7 profit, t-shirts are typically a whole lot more profitable. A t-shirt usually costs, depending on what kind you use, costs between $2 to $4 and still charge around the same price. So. You see a lot higher profit margin with those. Okay, so I got the tanks done. We have one, two, three, four, five. So about seven bucks profit each, which is what, 30 bucks. Took me less than five minutes to do. You grab a poly miller. Seven times five, 30 bucks. Yeah. 35. Oh, 35 bucks, I'm sorry. Got a poly miller. Sorry. I'm just gonna try and record with this. But it is too hard to hold. So now, what we're gonna do, we're going to weigh it at a pound. So I got the shipping label on, now I'm gonna place it in my box, and all of this goes to the post office today. So, that's it. You have your design on the computer, send it to the vinyl cutter, weed the design, um, get your shirt on, and then you pre-press your shirt, put the vinyl on the shirt, and then press it again. That's it. It's that simple. If you can't afford a vinyl cutter, there's more affordable vinyl cutters on the market. This one's close to two grand, but it, it works very well. It's fast. It's very, it's just, it works very well. Because <laughs> I've had cheaper vinyl cutters, but what you can also do, if you don't have a vinyl cutter, um, let's see here. I see, so if you don't have a vinyl cutter, what you can also do, see I have a few over here already. You can have transfers, okay? Some companies offer transfers. So you, if you already have a design, you can get it done on it. Uh, you can have them print it on a transfer and then you can do practically the same thing, but you don't even have to weed it. Let me find a junk t-shirt so I can press it and give you guys an example. So here's a t-shirt. Right here. So I'm taking the t-shirt, I'm putting it on the press, I'm just going to pre-press it. Now, put you guys back, we're going to take our design, let me flip the camera, we're going to place it directly on top, we don't need the cover sheet. Take this, and we're gonna press it down. It's a little dusty, we need to clean that. So, now it's done, get our shirt, peel the cancer right off, boom, look at that. Now you just fold it up, and ship it out. So that's pretty much it. And the transfers are really cheap. Um, there's some websites where you can get it as low as, I think, 50 cent or something, all the way up to $5 each. But it is but it is just one color. Um, most of the shirts I deal with are only one color. Like I said, I like to deal with ease. That's the reason why I make a decent amount of living making t-shirts, because I make things as easy as possible. Um, a lot of people try to attack things the most difficult ways, multiple colors, custom orders. 
and it just gets a little out of hand. So if you plan on getting into the teacher market, you don't need, I started with just a cheap vinyl cutter and I tried to, and I started with just black and white vinyl. That's it. I even started with a cheaper heat press. This one's a, a little more expensive as well. I think this one's almost two grand. So that's all you need is a, a heat press really just to get started. You can get a cheap one for about 200 bucks, but it won't last you long and it won't give you the best and it won't give you the best results but but it'll get you some profits as long as you know what you're doing and then you can reinvest that money into something more higher quality so if you have any comments any questions in regards to making t-shirts selling t-shirts online from home feel free to ask me anything in the comment section down below i do this at home guys i do this for a living um i've done screen printing i've done direct to garment and i went straight back to vinyl because it's so easy so quick so fast and it's kind of lucrative because it's an easy business to start off start up at home if you have any comments let me know if this video helped you out i hope so if not i'm sorry peace yeah but i just used that t-shirt we just made to clean the press